a very famous mathematician once actually characterized mathematics as something that you lay down, close your eyes, and work like hell. <laughs> and if you can say that and mean it, then you're a mathematician. <laughs> and this, of course, means you're doing it by yourself. Actually, oh, it's more fun. a <laughs> lot of mathematics... <laughs> historically, it was done largely by people on their own, and very often it is, but these days it's increasingly becoming a team game. It is. Yeah. There's a lovely website uh, just started in the couple, last couple of years called Polymath, mm -hmm. where uh, I forgot the name of the field's medalist. Tim Gowers. Tim Gowers, Tim it came from. So he, he, he throws out this problem on a blog, mm -hmm. and he just says to everybody in the math community or any other community, if you can contribute to trying to solve this problem, add a comment. And they've solved at least one quite significant problem by just people throwing in ideas and bouncing off each other. And that's almost the, the, the opposite extreme of this idea of the lone genius. Uh, well, the but I still think, you know, you, you, your, your book about uh, Andrew Wiles proving Fermat's last theorem, that was such a prize that he, he didn't talk to anybody else because yeah. he wanted to be one, the one to prove it. And, uh, yeah, it pro yeah. It's so I mean, Andrew Wiles is, is an extreme case of somebody who... Uh, so here was a problem that's 350 years old. And this Andrew is Fermat's Wiles, last theorem. That's right. So he... he 350 years, so the, the, the more that people failed to prove it, the more it became desirable. And, and when Andrew Wiles was based in, in Princeton by that time, um, once he realized the technique that might get him there, he closed shop. He largely worked at home, didn't go to the department very much. Because he was scared that if he whispered his process to someone else, they'd steal it from him? I think, I think it was partly it was fear of, of being beaten to the prize. Right. Two, the fear of being thought to be crazy. Because if, if, if no one else has done it for 350 years, why does he think he's so smart? Mm -hmm. and, and also just the intense focus that's required to take on such a major problem. And, and for seven years, he, he did nothing but work on this problem. But on the other, it, 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 roughly the same time, you have somebody like Paul Erdish, who is an extraordinary, has a wonderful book called The Man Who Loved Only Numbers. It's very, very much worth reading. This is reading. the fellow who would ring your doorbell and say, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm op open your mind, I'm here for My business. My mind is That's open. That's it. Yeah. And he, he collaborated with 500 mathematicians during his career, published over 1,500 papers, and... Uh, well, he was the Willie Loman of math, that he would just show up as the salesman, go ding-dong, and he'd then spend two weeks with you, and you'd have to give him yeah. breakfast. Yeah, he, he, he was here once with uh, Ron Graham on the East Coast, and they'd got up early... And all he had was two suitcases. That was his entire world possessions. And he, uh, he was with Ron Graham, and he, and he said, uh, oh, we're stuck. You know, we, we don't know what to do. And Ron Graham said, it's OK. I know a guy on the West Coast who can solve this problem. And uh, just said, well, let's ring him now. And Ron Graham said, look, it's 8 a.m. in the morning. In, in, in California, it'll be 5 a.m. And Ed just said, well, that's great. That means he'll be in. <laughs> <laughs> it, for him, it was purely mathematics, and it was, that's what the whole world revolved around. And, and, and which is the more common way to do it, by yourself, or uh, on the phone, or online, or uh, ringing I, the doorbell? I think, or? I think more and more, it's uncommon to be entirely alone. Yeah. Uncommon. 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 But I think it's a combination. I mean, mm. it's, uh, I find what I do best is to, to work on my own, then go and share mm. ideas, bounce, and exactly. you get much further, and you come back, and you need to spend... And I think there's some... some you all go to round. conferences, right? That's we go to conferences, we uh, go and b visit each other. We, uh, I find maths quite difficult to do online, because uh, uh, by email, because actually I think there's a lot of unspoken uh, sort of uh, trying to verbalise an idea in your head, and you haven't got, quite got the language. There's a lot of, with the, my collaborators, uh, of... of that's the kind of uh, and, and I can't do that by email. Uh, and, and somehow he, my collaborator, yeah, I, I think I see what you're seeing, and, and then we can start to formulate it. But, I, I would but we think do quite a lot of that with Skype or, or Skype Plus. Oh, right. Yeah, and absolutely, and it's really a matter of how good the broadband is.